And uh, let me do this question again. So I, um, I did do this once before. There's a three minute video that you can watch. And um, the new approach I want to use is more, uh, I want to draw more figures because I, this is a mistake I see with many students, which is uh, when you see a question that involves a number or uh, too many students ask, what is the right formula? What formula do I use? And um, I'll just tell you now that it, it won't help you understand the, understand the subject because all that a formula is, it's a mathematical expression of uh, something that can be understood, not necessarily mathematically. And um, so when someone says, oh, I'm just looking for the right formula, all they, they're saying is I'm looking for the right answer. Then I mean, I guess that's not wrong, but <laughs> um, don't you want to understand the answer? <laughs> so, um, so when I did this before, I did, you know, write down the formula. The right formula to use here is the formula for the, um, the force of gravity, which is gravitational constant times the product of the mass of the two things divided by distance squared. All right, so that's the formula you should use. And, um, and like this uh, expression, alone doesn't really tell you where to go from there. So I think this is what I want to, um, and in the hint I tell you about to, uh, some uh, hint. <laughs> what I want to do here is um, um, give you some illustration of the comparison between Earth and the Earth-like planet, which is eight times the size of the Earth. So this is our, baseline starting point. So let me draw a representation of Earth. Let's say this is the center of Earth. So I'm just gonna draw half of the Earth because um, it's already taking up a lot of space and I don't really want to draw the whole thing. Um, so imagine you are standing on Earth somewhere and you are being pulled towards the center of the Earth. And when you are considering this, the distance that matters here is the distance from the center to where you stand. And if you are standing on the center, standing on the surface of the earth, this distance will be the, the radius of earth. So that's how far away you are um, from the center of the earth. And um, yeah, so, and if you express the amount of force that's on you as you are standing on the surface of the earth, it'll look like amount of force is G times the mass of the earth times your own mass divided by the radius of the earth. That's, the, that's our baseline. That's our the point we are comparing to. So in this hypothetical planet, it says it's uh, eight times the size of the earth. And I'm pretty sure this is actually randomized. So your question might not have eight, it might have two, it might have five, it might have whatever. But so you're on a planet, again, I'm just gonna draw the top half that's uh, at some different size from earth um, for the purpose of this particular example, the radius of this hypothetical planet is eight times the size of earth. So this radius is eight uh, radius of earth. So if you are, imagine standing on this, on the surface of this hypothetical planet, then the distance that matters is still the distance from the center of the planet to where you are standing. That's still the distance that matters. And that is uh, the radius of the, the the Earth-like planet, and and if you oops, sorry, I missed the square there. Um, this was the formula square, square. <laughs> um, so if you are looking at the force on you as you are standing here, the expression for that force is going to be so. The this distance here that'll have changed. It'll have changed from the radius of Earth to eight times radius of the earth. 
So is where I used to have radius of Earth, I have eight times the radius of the Earth squared. And when you square, be sure to square the whole thing. Uh, some of the things here are constant. G, that's just gravitational constant. It doesn't change. It's a universal constant. And uh, your own mass won't have changed. And this is uh, what the question is asking here. What should be the mass of the planet so that the amount of force you feel is the same force that you felt on Earth. And I, I think you can just uh, looking at this, I think you can tell if uh, you had the same mass as the mass of the Earth, then, um, then this won't be the same, give you the same expression as what you had here. Um, and you can almost do this by trial and error. What should this be so that when you do this, it all works out to be the same. Um, should it be two Emmy? And if you worked it out, then I think you'll get, well, two divided by eight squared. That's not gonna give me one. So it's not gonna be the, these two quantities won't be the same. So it's not two Emmy. And uh, <laughs> there are many other guesses that I can try, but I won't, uh, I will save you a little bit of time and skip uh, to just the two more guesses. Um, if you guess, let's say, should it be eight times mass of the earth? Then it doesn't quite work out either because in the denominator, you have eight squared and the, on the numerator, you will have only eight. So the, if this planet only has mass of eight times mass of the earth, then this is not gonna work out to be one. So what I really need is eight squared here, eight squared or 64. If uh, this planet, has mass that's uh, 64 times the mass of the earth, then you can see in this expression here that the, the how much more massive the planet is will balance out perfectly how much larger the planet is, eight times the size of the earth. So, so the mass of the planet must be eight times eight, 64 times that of the earth. Um, and I think the question I got about this question was, um, uh, when you're comparing sizes, you do have to be careful if you are comparing, oh, where did I have to line this up? Oh, oh that, <laughs> that's the, um, I'll just leave it here. Um, the, um, when you're comparing sizes, the thing to watch out for is, is it a, um, additive thing? Is it uh, how much in addition you have that you are comparing? Or is it a, a multiplicative thing? Is Are you looking at how many times something is? And I think oftentimes what you will find that uh, the size comparison that's most useful and meaningful is the multiplicative thing, as in how many times is something. So this planet, you could look at, oh, its radius is, uh, it's the radius of Earth plus seven times the radius of the Earth. But that comparison won't really give you the meaningful result. What will give you the meaningful result is that this radius here is, it is eight times the radius of the Earth. So, um, 